Hello, and welcome to Turner Time Tutorials. This video is on how to import a CSV file to Outlook Context in Outlook 2010. You can use a CSV file to import a list into Outlook Context. For example, I could take a mailing list that was in Excel, convert it to a CSV file, and then load it into a Context folder in Outlook. Please see Online Tutorials for an additional video on how to create a CSV file from an Excel file. First thing you need to do is left click on the file menu, left click open, left click import. The default is import file from another program or file. Left click to highlight if necessary, left click next, left click comma separated values DOS, left click next. Select your option, replace duplicates with items imported, allow duplicates to be created, or do not import duplicate items. Left click the Browse button, navigate to the folder where your CSV file is stored and left click on the CSV file. Left click OK, left click Next, and now you're going to want to find your mailbox in the destination folder section. Scroll down until you see your email address. Here's mine. Now I want to find the context folder under my email address. You may have an archive folder in here which will also contain a context folder, so you want to make sure you're selecting the context folder underneath your mailbox name. I've created a separate file in my context folder to import to. That way, if there's any problem with the import, I still have my original context intact. Left click Next. Left click to place a check mark next to your file name. If this is the first time you've done this, it'll take you automatically into Map Custom Fields. If it's not the first time you've imported, you may have to put the check mark in the box next to the file name and left click Map Custom Fields. Once you're inside the Map Custom Fields dialog box, you're going to see the list from the headers on your CSV files in the left column and the fields for the Outlook contact on the right column. You're going to left click on a value in the left column for, in this example, the billing first name. I'm going to expand the name field in Outlook. I'm going to left click on billing first name and drag it over first name and release. Billing last name, drag over last name and release. Continue this with all the fields on the left hand side to match the corresponding fields on the right hand side. I'm going to take my billing address. When you're finished dragging all the fields on the left to the corresponding field on the right, we can left click on OK. Please know that you don't have to use all of the fields on the left or all the corresponding fields on the right. Only drag over what you want to import into Outlook Context. Again, when you're finished, left click OK. Left click Finish. And now, if I left click on my sample folder under my Context, you can see that all the information from my CSV file has been imported. Prior to this, I only had these four contacts in this folder. This can be a very useful tool if you create lists in Excel, change them into CSV files, and import them into Outlook. It's very easy to remove the entire folder when you're finished if you don't need it. Remember, if you're syncing with a mobile device, such as a smartphone and or tablet, all those contacts are going to sync. So I'm going to use these temporarily. When I'm finished with them, I'm going to delete the file. If you have any questions, please email info at getturnertime.com. Thanks for watching, and have a productive day.